Army mateys. I told you, you'll get fed up long before I do. Welcome everybody to my channel. I am Blizzard Raptor. This is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Probably one of my favourite games of all time. One of and a list of so many over the years. If you're new here and you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the videos, and leave a comment as well. And with that, we will rock on and get the uh, get the last mission that I need to replay replayed. So since you saw me last, I have went all the way around Havana and done all the side content there and I was doing the same on Cape Bonavista however since you guys are here with me since you invited yourselves in come on get comfy I will jump in and do the other mission that I need to do for you guys to keep you up with the story so it's sequence 4 memory 1 So if you remember, you may not, but if you remember, in the last episode, we took Cape. It wasn't Cape Bonavista, that's where I just was. We took Great Iguana from the Templars. And this is where we start back. Start about. He left this morning with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. I will make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. With a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Call mine honor. Let me know if you find anything. Kid, James Kidd's an interesting character. If you look at his wrists, he's wearing wrist blades as well. I found another pirate, because one of the side missions that I did off camera, I had to help rescue an assassin whose name was given away by the map that I gave the Templars. So I've saved, in the course of saving her obviously, one, she was a Scottish, a female Scottish pirate, really cool character actually, and she was also an assassin, she had the wrist blades. But Kid has wrist blades on as well. I'm getting there. So this is odd looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. The steely puzzles. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. I don't know if this will replay again. Shadow and sound deep into matter until you see and hear a kind of shimmering. A shimmering? Do you understand? I think so. I've seen its like before, glowing like moonlight on the ocean. Ah, oh, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? Here we go. So, they are basic shape puzzles, 
and all you really need to do is get them roughly in the right place like that and there you go and they point towards this every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away i've had this sense most of my life only i thought it was related in some way to my dreaming or the like most never find it others it takes years to tease out but for a rare few it comes as natural as breathing what you feel is the light of life of living things past and present the residue of vitality come and gone any man's senses can be tuned well past what he's born with if he tries not necessarily true cuz what edward possesses is a gift from his ultimate ancestor you are a gifted man edward as a strange look is it worth something nothing you can spend but if you find all of them it'll lead to something grand how many a few dozen i think this way i've something else to show you well, i should have pointed out as well i've upgraded edwards this is where all the steel are so the north part of the map is easy that's where all the easy territories are so you can get these steely early and then the middle of the map where it says medium that's where the content would be a bit more challenging but not too difficult but when you go south here pretty much anything that hits you here is going to sink your boat unless you're ready for it so down in this area as you can see i found something else just here i think you'll take this secret much yeah, so the uh, Edward have upgraded his swords and pistols. It'll be a while before I can upgrade any of them again. There's only three or four pistol sets. I'm on the wheel lock pistols just now, and I've got the Spanish this cup help rapiers. Swords I should be able to get fairly regularly. What do you think? I think Monsieur de Casse was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. I know where it leads to because I've obviously I've done this. I recorded this for you guys already. I wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An iron maiden or a collection of thumb screws. <laughs> or a pair of anguish. <laughs> Instead, what we find is a rather lovely villa. Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. That's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could, if it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. Ooh. So I have actually done Havana's here there's, there's a specific four that have keys I have one other which I got the, like I say doing the side content here so I've got two out of the five keys, so I can put that one in. And it gets me the Templar armor. It kind of looks like Shea Cormac's armor, which is quite cool. A nice sort of throwback. Now, you can upgrade the interior. You can get art pieces, etc. But it's basically like a, a colonial mansion. 
it's a nice wee hideaway to have. It's a sort, it's a space to upgrade and do up, and you can buy art pieces and just another sort of the uh, Villa Monte Regione. Done this viewpoint already, as you guys will be able to tell. There we go. And we have to meet James Kidd. Done a couple of upgrades to the boat as well since I recorded last. Nothing major again, because all the the big upgrades are locked behind me needing supplies. So I'll need to do some pirating, take some ships and... Uh, capture materials because you, you really need metal and wood for and canvas for most of the upgrades leaving already I think this cove suits you best Edward better than that costume does oh come on now we're pirates kid we take as we please and become who we like self made man but that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. And that is where the mission finishes there. And that is as far as I got. Because after I'd done that, I realised that the episodes hadn't saved and had to go back. So, I'll be back on Cape Bonavista. And let's get back on board the Jackdaw and go meet James Kidd. I should have enough or more than enough upgrades to see me through. In fact, you know what? We'll just we'll grab that one that was that it said I could have outfit ship buy upgrades. What have we got? So it's none of the actual None of the actual bits and pieces that I want. Wonder if I sell the sell cargo. Cause sugar and rum don't go towards the actual upgrades. But I don't know if I have the materials to to do any of these. I can do round shot strength. That's all right. It doesn't actually require. It's a lot of money, though. I think I'd rather have the hull upgrade. So I'm going to need metal and wood. Fire barrel strength. That's quite tempting. Uh, I'm gonna leave it just now. I'm gonna leave it just now. I really do want the hull armor. Sue. Captain has the helm. Sail to sea. You don't really see the transition between areas. We found a trove of nautical maps and ledgers and the like, scattered about the village. You'll find them sorted in the captain's quarters of the Jackdaw. Quality stuff. Nautical maps and ledgers. Might come in useful. We decide to build up a fleet of our own. Exactly my thinking, Captain. Have a look for yourself and tell me what you think. Right, it's saying fleet mission success, but I haven't done any fleet missions in this game yet. I wonder if it's transposed my fleet over from the Royal Fortune. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I think these are boats that I captured for the main save. I don't know why I'm getting them now. So it, it's not going to give me the, the tutorial for this, right? But the idea is you can see the difference in danger levels here, right? And you can also see where these voyages are going. So we've got Africa. This is the African coast. And there's the European coast here. Excuse me a second. Then we have the North American coast. And then there's the South Atlantic missions. So what I think I'm going to do is we'll do some of the Canadian missions. It says they are dangerous, and they are, but I should have enough ships. You can get quite a lot of reals for these. For this set, it's the... Oh, there's already someone away doing that one. And I'm just going to check my fleet. I need to repair some of these ships. So I'll show you how to do the Navy missions. I'll repair all these. Repair the ones that need repaired. The San Cristobal needs repaired. So some of these are Man of Wars, as you can see. Because once you get your ship upgraded enough, you can take on Man of Wars. And they are a really good prize. I can't really capture any more ships. However, I can add a new dock because I've got enough of the gems to do that and that's what you need to do them and then ships in progress there's none so it must just be that that mission's on a cooldown what I will do then is these are where the big money is Do I want this or do I want... Okay. A worthy trip. So the best one is... Probably this one. And what you have to do... Is pick ships that have a higher chance of like this. So we'll send this one. It can survive on its own, you see. And then if I do this one, we can get 3,000 reals for doing chocolate again. So the Corsair's Quest, again, we'll get the, the big ship out to do it. Here we go. So that's two ships away. And that's Kenway's fleet, all right? So what happens now, uh, it might give me the tutorial for the fleet building, but given that it's given me all my ships across my saves, maybe it won't. Get his course today, Captain. It's a fine day for any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'll be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Ade. <laughs> and what's your aim? Master Kidd hinted at a prize he was eager to show me down in Tulum. Quite some distance, mind, on the Yakutan Peninsula. You trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. He has a way of pecking away at my conscience that gives me pause. 
I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set the course for Tulum. So, this is... That's a white whale. Don't think I have a good enough boat to capture this yet. Where is Master Kid? There? No, that's a Baco Island. Is this as far out as I can zoom? Ah, there we go. That's no, basically... Ah, uh, you have to go past that. But I'll tell you what, we'll show you the, the White Whale event first. Because I'm keen to show you guys as much content as I can. And you can enjoy the music as we travel. And also some of my musings. So we've got a poor a poor person here. We'll pick up this crew member. It will boost our crew numbers. Because as you can see there, the crew numbers are empty. But it's because I increased my crew capacity. So it's one of the upgrades you can do. You build out bunks and you can recruit more crew members and that allows you to take bigger prizes. If you don't have enough crew members to storm a boat, say you're trying to take a man of war with a basic, um, with a basic crew complement, it's possible for you still to fight the ship and still to pull it in. But what happens is quickly your crew ends up dead and you end up being the only one fighting a man of war and having to kill the requisite number of their crew. So what we do is we stop. Do we stop for this? Wait a minute. Oh, you need to be in the yeah. Sorry, you need to be in this marked area. Begin harpoon, and there we go. So. This is what happens when you're hunting whale and shark and any of the other animals. And whale are obviously dangerous. We have him on the line! Hang on, we're off! Here we go. Ah, yes! Yeah, we're not doing a lot of damage to this guy. Stop like that. Stopping, sir. <laughs> that tail's coming. He's burning the sea ray. Any sighting? So now you have to look for it. This is kind of like the Resident Evil Four sequence. The kill the road. Ah, oh, see, yeah, he's really damaged the boat. What I might do is level up there. The okay. He's a slippery bastard. He's if I fail this, I'll Stung upgrade the, the harpoon boat with the money and resources that I've got. He don't like that. And <laughs> we'll try and that tail's coming. hook this guy. Yeah, robots destroyed. Right, yeah. So, I do need... I mean, white whale events are quite tough events. They're worth doing for the resources you get. But... Swimmers off the wind! Stands up with a will! I need to get off the... Yeah, there we go. There we go. So... I'll go in and do some upgrades to the boats. Can I? Why are you not letting me into my... There we go. Into my captain's cabin. Because I'll have all the money from the missions that I've just come back yet. Yeah, <laughs> so. Jackdaw upgrades. Where was the... Ah, uh, diving bell. There we go. Here. Need to progress further for that. So, robo armor. Oh, I can't do that because I've not got the wood. 
Harpoon strength I can do. So I'll do that. I don't have the plan for that. Advanced harpoon storage, so we'll get all of that. I'd really have liked to have got the the robot armor, but we'll give it another bash and see how we go. Um, and if not, I'll take a few. I'm basically just going to sail down towards Kid's mission, but I'll I'll stop on the way and do a few boats. Do a few pirate missions. So the reason for this wasn't sport, this was how fresh meat was hunted. Especially in the 18th century. Here we go. You can get a good look at uh, Kenway's tattoos here as well. So we need to we have him on the hook him. There we go. Here we go. The beast is hurt. He don't like that. <laughs> Stung him. That hmm. tail's coming. It's yes. Still coming. The Let's go. There we go. He did do a bit of damage, but we've done a bit more to him this time as well. So, here is he. Is he going to come up in front of me again like he did the last time? No. Here we go. It's a hit. It can take a few to get these. Obviously, if you run out of harpoons. Bit of a disaster. Watch it! The tail! Gotcha! Careful, lad! Yeah, we got we got desynchronized. So they are too they are too strong for me at the minute. Crowd on every inch of sail! Dark skies and rough seas! Some good there. need here for spearing, Captain! And now we're in a storm. Perfect. So we can't use travel speed in storms for obvious reasons. Because if you put all the sails up, we just make ourselves a big lightning mast. A big lightning rod, sorry. We've got a fleet. That's got cloth. And that one's got rum and sugar. Although it is a convoy. Is there a bigger ship here that I'm not seeing? Schooner's level 4. Yeah, there's three ships. There's a frigate with them as well, the Conquistador. So I'm not going to take that on. Because... The, the, the Conquistador is far too tough for me to take on just now. So, what is this? Is this the range of... I'm not 100% sure why... Why this is marked red. It's not like we're trying to sneak through though, so... I'm not really that bothered. I won't fail a mission for getting spotted while we're here. As quick as it's come, the storm's pretty much away. We're not going anywhere near that. Naval forts or something that'll wait till later. If you get a tutorial on it as you play through the story. I think they are gonna fire at me though. Here they are.
those shots are going to go over my head. That'll be why this is a restricted area. See, so it is possible to fight forts from the sea. You can get um. Ooh. Yeah, you can get mortars which I have, but because I haven't had the mortar tutorial, I can't use them yet. You have to be in this screen here, like looking through your telescope, because obviously it's an extreme ranged weapon. They just about hit me. I think we've sailed out with our range, which is cool. Oh, there's a water spout as well. That's not good. So we can put travel speed up. Aha! This might be better. So this is another hunting area. Good. So we should be able to do this harpooning mission. So here we go. They were singing Paddy Doyle's boots there. <laughs> there he goes. This is a shark. Oh no, it's not, it's a killer whale. But I'm not Stay doing sharp, too good a job of actually Here we go. The beast is hurt. Stung him. He slapped the rope. Keep an eye out for that fin. So we get ready. We watch for the fin coming out. Up here. Watch in, love and bell. It's yeah, down. that's what you don't want to happen. I messed up there. You see that, lads? You've got to kind of balance risk and reward here. The rope's gone, sir. Yeah, I know. This time I can't really afford to miss. My aim's normally better than this, to be fair. Anybody see him um, right in front? Got him. Off we go. So his health's down to red now. Should be able to finish him off. Back. My harpoon damage is greater than it probably should be at this point. Because I got all the extra money off the... He's gone. Uh, I got all the extra money off those fleet missions. <laughs> Here we go. Headed at us. Now I know that's probably a bit animal cruelty. I'm not. I'm not glorifying this. This is how these the sailors live. This is how they got fresh meat. Great cats, Captain. Killer whale skin, killer whale bones, and that uses up the hunting area for a while. You can come back here later and they usually it's usually in the same kind of area it's it'll have re replenished but that gives me some upgrade materials now <laughs> Edward, you cannot be caught in that monster. Stand there, Captain. Look back. Yeah, that's a water spout. Brilliant. He'll take it. Six trip two. Party. I said party. 
kind of storm. I don't remember it being as stormy as this. I don't know if it's something to do with the story mission that I've got coming up or what, but I, I genuinely don't remember the storms being as frequent as they, they are at the minute. While I'm sailing towards this mission, I quickly mention that it's there's been a bit of gaming journalism reporting that there is a remaster of this game in development at Ubisoft. And um, it kind of makes sense, and I'm wondering if it's got something to do with Skull and Bones, because I've heard that the development on that might not be going as well as people think. I know there have been alpha and beta tests and things like that, but I'm not sure that the feedback that Ubisoft got on the product has sort of met their expectations. So I don't know if they then moved to redeveloping or remastering Assassin's Creed to sort of make up for that. If that makes sense. So, we are on Tulum, which is here. We've to locate James Kidd, but we've to do it quietly and without killing anyone. So the goal here will be to not I'll try and sneak my way through it if I can, but I think I can get away with just knocking out. Yeah, this guy's gonna come in and. Yeah, I've been detected. Yeah, right, okay. So I'm not allowed to get detected at all. Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. I think I've got smoke bombs equipped automatic. Pardon me, automatically? Yeah, I do. And I can knock out assassins because I've just seen to the corner there that he'll come in just now. We'll do knockout. Here we go. So that's one assassin knocked out. We don't want to assassinate him though. What I'll do is I'll just knock him out as well. Now there is well, there's this for a start. So this is the first thing I'm going to do because this will give me a bit. this area. We should be able to see a bit more when I bring up the map now. Might not have time to finish this mission. We'll certainly give it a go though. He's not as far away as I thought he was going to be right. That's cool. Got the Animus Fragment, so we'll get up here. Got that guy coming to investigate. Imminent. Ah, he didn't come around far enough. <sighs> right, okay. A bit disappointed. It's a bit more difficult than I remember this being. I'm sure I did this first time the last time. Yeah, I've been detected again. Yeah, this is much, much tougher than I remember it being. Because I can't get detected, I can't get into a fist fight with anyone. And I can't just swim by underneath them for those people that are probably thinking, just do that. 
because that's the whole point in these guys watching. I'm gonna wait until the second guy moves away. There we go. Right. Gonna move back just now. Five upgrades available in the captain's cabin. Nab him. So instead of jumping down this time, I think I'm going to try moving through the trees. See how this goes. I mean, this is technically the assassin's territory. Can't climb any higher for some reason. Oh, here, sorry, I just... I saw a ship pass this way, close upon the shore, then gone. Artabai warned us to be vigilant. The Templars have been closing in for well on a year now. Indeed, but Templars make noise with their comings and goings. I've not heard a thing just yet. You will. So, this seems to be as far as I can get in the trees. Maybe I just need to drop down or jump. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty good. I like that. Gonna nip across him and then, oh no, into here. Can I make it back into here? Yeah, I can. Yeah. There's no one here, mate. I think I need to knock one more out anyway, so... There we go. Got him. Just wanted me to loot four treasure chests as well. Which means I need to loot that one there. kind of don't want to. <laughs> I know that sounds daft. I do want the money, but I don't want the hassle. Chests round there. There's that guy there. Don't think I can throw a bomb at him. That wasn't clever. That was pretty stupid. <laughs> now I've kind of alarmed two guys. He's facing away from me. Yeah, he is. Knocked him out. Look that. Look him as well. So I've met the knockout X amount of assassins. Need to get up there next, but there's this guy here. So we'll just take our time. But I think I can get up there, no problem. Yeah, I can. Because his viewpoint's not... His, like, cone of vision wasn't on me. So... Right. We've got to reach that. There's an animus fragment there. I'm not bothered about the animus fragments. All that does bother me is the chest so I can get the optional objective knocked out as well. Go up here. This 
stay in the trees, I should be okay. The irony that I'm using the assassin's tactic against them is not lost on me. Uh, yes, yeah, there's no chest here, just this fragment. I think they're talking about me, but I'm not 100% sure. So the same idea here, just move through the woods, woods, forest, through the trees. Should be getting kind of close to the next treasure chest I am. So the next chest is off to my left, I think, yeah. It looks like it's up on that wall. Mayan Steely. Other chest, so... Just need to keep going that way. The two in front are not looking at me. You might hear our dogs there. Uh, they are. Oh, no, 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 move, 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 move. Ah, don't take me all the way back to the start. That will align me up. <sighs> Should have been clear there. It's not taking me back to the start, it's just taking me back to here. So, who saw me though? None of those ones to that side can see me. Get into there, wait for them to turn around, whoever they are. Head up here. <laughs> So to do this, I am going to have to take these guys out one at a time, because they're too close. Want him to come in. And we'll choke him out as well. There we go. So they move backwards and forwards. I just saw them there. Ah, I was gonna go I was gonna go for it there. I really was. Ah, why? <sighs> it's frustrating. Very, very frustrating. So the loot treasure chest is still the same, but I do still need to go the same way. And in case you're wondering, the person that they're talking about is me. They know that Duncan Walpole is dead now. They also know that I, I killed him and they're waiting on me. See, that's what they're talking about there. So same plan again, we do one. Two, three. Now I know there is something interesting I'll talk about while I'm doing this. I know that Ubisoft has taken the Far Cry series back to prehistory, back to um, Far Cry Primal playing as a Stone, man, uh, stone Age man. Uh, I think it's Paleolithic 
which is the early Stone Age, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Don't quote me on it. It might actually be Neolithic. In fact, you know what? I'd rather go with Neolithic because there's fire in the game and fire wasn't discovered until later on in the Stone Age. So yeah, I'd probably go with it being Neolithic. We're going in here now. When she walks past, we nab her. There we go. And then she goes. So the steely is to my right. It's two guys. Can I go for it, go for it, go for it? Yes. Got away with that. The steely is further round by the looks of it. Don't think I can get up high. So we'll wait for the, the senior to turn round and we'll whistle on the recruit. You can tell by the robes. Much more advanced assassins, senior assassins wear the, the full robes whereas the recruits or lower ranked assassins run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Right, I don't know what her movement pattern is, but I need her to be looking away from me. Ah, but now she's alerted. Right, okay. Right, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. We'll wait for her alert status to wear off. Right now, just going to watch her movement pattern and see where she goes. But what I was saying earlier about Far Cry, so Far Cry has gone back to the, like I say, the Stone Age, the sort of Neolithic. Shaga. No, 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 no. No! been very generous to me there. So I need to find Kid in amongst all of these guys. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so Far Cry. Um, Primal's gone back to the Mesolithic and what I kind of like to see is uh, an Assassin's Creed set in the Aztec. I think that would be phenomenal. Jesus, kid. You led me into a mess. Is it these monks guarding the treasure you promised me? I told you I had a secret to share, but I didn't say it'd be easy. Now let's get this door open and I'll show you what's inside. We're on to something. I can feel it. Captain Kenway? <laughs> What is the assassin, Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. So he called him Mentor, so James Kidd was an assassin. What was I going to say? Yeah, I'd like to see the the series go to the the Aztec, so that we can see a different perspective. Because we've already done one part of the ancient world. Best, kid. Who 
Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. And my mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, aye. But it does not command us to act or submit. Only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. You, you hear the words, but you don't... ...understand the creed. He's not the first person to be told that. The way forward's blocked. That's a door, I reckon. Aye. And there should be some way to open it. A mechanism somewhere. I like a capstan. Those blocks up there. Try moving then. Right, so I'm not going to do that just now because the 55 minute warnings come up. So thanks for joining me for this one, guys. We'll finish up with whatever it is James Kidd's asking of us. As you can tell, if you couldn't tell at the start, Edward is no assassin, he's no Templar, he's just a pirate captain, and that's what makes him unique there, in like these games. He is a unique character and that he belongs to neither order at the beginning of the game or indeed throughout the game unlike Altair who was a master assassin unlike Connor Kenway who became an assassin actively seeking him out unlike Ezio whose father was an assassin and it was his destiny to become an assassin you know all these guys were born into the order Desmond as well but Edward Kenway was a free man who just wanted to be a free man so thanks for joining me for this one guys like i said at the start if you are new here and you haven't already please subscribe like the videos and leave a comment there should be extra content coming up on the screen just now in the top right hand corner you should see a link to another video there will be another video in the center left of the screen in the middle of the screen there will be a button to subscribe to my channel please press that and on the center right of the screen you should see a link to the playlist for this series in case you haven't seen the earlier episodes so thank you so much for joining me like i said guys and uh yeah take care of yourselves and i'll see you all real soon thanks bye for now